Hi everyone, welcome back. This is chapter number six about contact and account management. In this chapter, we're going to look at how our deals board, contact and accounts board, all work together to give us a seamless and centralized way of seeing everything happening with your clients. Now, we already briefly looked at our contacts board and account in the, in the previous videos, but now we're gonna talk about it more uh, in depth. So as you remember, we have our contacts board that is um, storing all of our contact information. And similar to that, we have our accounts board that stores all of our company's accounts uh, information in one board. Let's start with the contact board. What do we have here? First of all, we have a connection to the actual company, uh, to the deal. We have the title of the contact, the type, the priority, the phone, the email, the company that they're from, and any type of notes. Um, you can add more columns to indicate more information about the contact if you want. Over here, we have the accounts board, which again, gives us a list of all of our companies, um, the type of company. Um, we get, again, we have a connection to the contacts, the priority notes, the industry, and we also have mirror columns to reflect the email and the account value from the contact and from the deal itself. Now, what exactly does it mean? If I, for example, now have a new contact, and let's say that this contact is the same uh, from the same company, from Frog. So I'm going to add a connection to the Frog company. And if we go to the actual frog company, as you can see now, it is connected to Elian and to Dana. So you can see here that it's connected to both of them. Um, if you add, for example, a new company, um, let's say key company, you can also add the contacts from here. So this works in two directions. You can contact, you can connect um, a uh, both ways because it is bi-directional. Um, so this is just an FYI about how um, the contacts and accounts board work and how they're connected together. Now, as you remember, when we create a deal and we qualify it, it will move to the contacts board. So it now created um, a, new, a, a new contact in here, Dana Aviv. I have the same name, so let's go ahead and change this. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is also connect this new contact to the company. So you can do it as I showed here. You can add the company and then add the relevant contact. Or when creating a deal super easily, you can just add the new deal, the key deal. And once you add the key deal, you just need to create, uh, sorry, to connect to the relevant new contact and you can create the new company straight from here or connect it to the existing. So in our case, this is an existing account. Uh, but what if, for example, we have a new deal uh, that's called a butterfly deal. And let's say you are connecting it to um, a new contact and you want to create the account straight from here. It's easier than going to the actual company and to the actual account. So you can just add it from here butterfly and you add it and then it's connected to uh, this column over here and you can also click on it to add all the information about this company um, if relevant okay so this is our contact and account manage management boards um, and another thing that i want to show you is the item card view so if you open up um, the item card um, it will show you here an overview of all the information about this, um, this item with all the columns, but also it will show you all the connected items um, that are connected to this specific deal in our case. So if we go to, for example, the account Frog, remember that Frog is connected to two contacts, to Elian and Dana. So if we click on it, and we scroll to the bottom, we will actually have a visualization of all the related accounts and we can see all of the information straight from here. So this is a very convenient way to see all of the connected um, contacts um, that are relevant to this account. Okay, so I guess this is it for this chapter. In the next chapter, we will look at communicating with our clients and tracking the activities.